Dear respectable president, I'd like to express my pleasure uh, of participation at this uh, scientific conference, and I hope that we'll read more interesting details of our uh, collection, which will be published in the future. Uh, I'll be short. My paper and is is about the Macedonian national movement 1934. Uh, it's a period which was full of reactions of different uh, organizations, intellectuals through through letters, county letters concerning negation of the Bucharest Treaty provisions and asking its revision. I will highlight only the basic points. This will be published in the, in the book which will be published. We Macedonians are not neither Serbs nor, nor Bulgarians. We are just simply Macedonians. Macedonian people exist independently of Serbs and Bulgarians. We, we are compassionate with both Bulgarians and Serbs who will help our liberation. We will thank them, but Serbs and Bulgarians uh, they can forget that Macedonia, uh, they should forget us because Macedonia is only for Macedonians. This thought of the Macedonian revolution of Boris Rafov was on the title, title page of the newspaper of the Petrograd colony of the Macedonian activist Macedonian voice in Russia and it was uh, with great hope and enthusiasm Macedonians revolutionaries were included in the preparations for the Balkan state against Ottoman Empire and its rule in Macedonia. The proclamations and calls of the Balkan state, the Balkan ally, called Macedonians to massively include in the fight against Ottoman Empire. The Macedonian national liberation and the revolutionary movement, even though divided and scattered, was unanimous on about one thing, Macedonia to, be, to, to remain compact, ethnographic and economic whole and or to gain political autonomy. The end of the First Balkan War and the London Peace Treaty uh, scattered the illusion of Macedonian organization that Macedonia will gain statehood and the Macedonian issue will be solved. The great forces and Balkan states in London verified the first division of ethnogeographic territory of Macedonia. In circumstances of deep ideological division, scatteredness and unity in the Macedonian revolutionary movement, this development of events uh, Vomoro first reacted to, and on 18th of June 1913 sent declaration to the Bulgarian government and the representatives of the great forces in which they strongly claimed that there are no disputable uh, zones of the territory of Macedonia. If, uh, quote, if Macedonian issue receives opposite uh, solution of the demands of the population, the organization will not uh, re-change its uh, revolutionary actions and will not uh, have any doubts to use all possible means uh, without taking care of the Geneva Convention. <coughs> these actions, these threats of Bomoro for, uh, for military actions did not uh, change uh, the mind of the Balkan states, Bulgaria, Serbia, and Greece, and the, the, the war started in 1913 June. Actually, the conference in Bucharest did not look at the Macedonian issue from any aspect. It was supposed to verify the new division of Macedonia. In not a single sentence, the document, the, the, the country signatories did not mention Macedonia at all. But they were just looking at the different borders, lines of the division of the Macedonian territory and the reparations that uh, Macedonia, uh, Bulgaria was supposed to pay. With that, bu the Bucharest Peace uh, Treaty ten, uh, from 1913 left uh, permanent consequences of the future of Macedonia, even though some inter bilateral agreements of the Balkan states under great influence above all Russia, its possible solution was autonomy of Macedonia. The peace agreement of Bucharest verified its division Interesting data is that the single Macedonian that participated at the Bucharest Peace uh, Conference is, is Simon Radev, as a member of the Bulgarian um, 
delegation and uh, he signed the document and just before he left he was asked by a group of Macedonian um, revolutionaries and activists how is he to act and he was asked on the sessions of the conference to ask for creation of an autonomous Macedonian state. Simon Radev is a Bulgarian delegate already known, had the information that a group of Macedonian revolutionaries and act actors uh, submitted a request to representatives of the great forces in Sofia for uh, Macedonian autonomy. But interest, the interesting thing was that the Radev was more concerned with the Bulgarian interest of how to uh, get uh, an entry into the sea rather than uh, fighting for the Macedonian question. So he was asked how you will sign or sign the new slavery of Macedonia, quote and unquote. The signing of the Bucharest Peace Treaty caused enormous satisfaction to all circles of the Macedonian National Liberation and Revolutionary Movement, irrespective of their ideological uh, self-determination and affiliation. In such days, July and August 1913, majority of the Macedonian revolutionary uh, the groups were in Sofia and tried to organize and react to the unjust Bucharest Treaty and the division of Macedonia, even though um, they didn't have prepared sufficiently. Macedonian revolutionaries and actors tried to to um, take up a certain standpoint when it comes to the division of Macedonia. They met, discussed, and tried to find answers for the great injustice. The dissatisfaction was directed towards the Bulgarian government, considering that the government of Sofia manipulated the aspirations and the goals of the Macedonian revolutionary uh, movement. At one meeting uh, at the Sofia streets between Dimitar Mirchev, Hristomatov, and Georgi Petrov, the last uh, regarding the uh, as per the Bucharest Treaty, uh, severely criticized the Bulgarian government with the words, even if he were a shepherd, he would have done better for the people. According to the, the memories of Dmitry Mirchev, those moments of disappointment he made an attempt to uh, of the certain group of uh, Macedonian revolutionary in Bulgaria to exchange opinions among them. So there is another correspondence uh, to Russia, to Russia in my presentation, but uh, since. Uh, there isn't a lot of time. I'm just going to talk about Dmitry Zhubovsky and Krista Petkov Misirkov and letters addressed to Russia because Russia was seen as an ally to the Macedonian liberation movement. One of the reactions is the reaction in the magazine, the journal Macedonian Voice. Quote, and the quote is following. The decisions of these conferences painfully struck and uh, damaged Macedonia, fragmented into three parts, Serbian, Greek, and Bulgarian, end of quotation. It's interesting that several reaction was sent by the organization Vomero that continuously warned that the autonomy is the end purpose of the organization and they will severely struck if the uh, uh, requirements are not met. In one of the protests, in the letters of protest, the following stands. We ask for our country Macedonia and for which, which belongs to us and which we will pay for our lives. We ask of the civilized country uh, autono and Europe autonomy for Macedonia, end of quote. And um, revolutionaries and other members of Amarod, in addition to Todor Alexandrov, which is a controversial person, also Hrita Tarchev, Georgi Balaschev, Hristo Matov are signed, Alexander Bal Balabanov, Ivan Hajinikolov, Georgi Zankov, Georgi Pop, Christoph Alexander Protogerov and others. One of the address of Krista Petkov Mesirkov in 1914 to the members of the, gov of the Russian government. The memorandum of uh, September uh, to the Russian Minister for Foreign Affairs and signed by Dmitry Chubovsky, among other things, Krista Petkov Mesirkov stated the elements of the damaging effect of the uh, Bucharest, of treaty, Bucharest Treaty. One year after the uh, after living after the uh, Bucharest Treaty was sufficient uh, for the damage to be obvious of this uh, contract to the interest of Russia and the Slavic community. The Bucharest Treaty expanded the territories of the uh, non-Slavic countries and enemies of Russia and the uh, Slavic uh, community, Rom Romania and Greece, on the account of the Slavic countries, Macedonia and Dobruja.
I wouldn't quote any others because I think this is more relevant. So the provisions of the Bucharest uh, Treaty were uh, disputed by other revolutionary revolutionaries such as Gheorghe Pop Christoph and his, in his memoirs he um, spoke against the provisions. So we would have had a different future if the uh, uh, the revolutionaries, uh, Comitas, Voivodas and others, instead of being sent to Trace, would have been more successful if they uh, fought for the Macedonian autonomy on the territory of Macedonia. So Krista Tarchev, one of the founders and first uh, president of the Central Committee of the Revolutionary Organization, uh, you will uh, read more about them in my... Uh, in my elaboration. So Peter de Vingov is the one that I want to quote here, one of the uh, founder of the Macedonian um, Macedonian Nodrin Obolchenie, uh, which is uh, Corp. So he said that uh, Macedonia would be the, the 15,000 uh, Macedonian Odrino Corpus uh, are the corps that were the, oh, the, the core that was left on the shore instead of uh, being put into uh, operation by fighting for the autonomy of Macedonia. Whether this was an intentional or purposeful um, intention by the Macedonian by the Bulgarian authorities to take advantage of them or not, we don't know. The damaging effect of the uh, treaty were also elaborated by Pavel Shatev, one of the uh, best educated revolutionaries at the period. He was a uh, PhD in uh, uh, law, legal sciences, so he talks about the division of Macedonia. And after the end of the first Balkan and the first war, the uh, actions of Two Vomero Bedineta, Vomero United, and Vomero Autonomistička. Those are two uh, organizations that sent declarations. Uh, in March 1924, this organization said the following. In the Balkan War, the organization said available all its forces. We're not talking about 20,000 Macedonians that in that comprised the Macedonian uh, Voluntary Legion. Not not even about the 10,000 regular uh, uh, soldiers and officers. But soon, when Greeks and Bulgarians uh, were situated in Macedonia, a different situation occurred. So they severely uh, judged and condemned them. Treaty of Bucharest. In the late 20 years, the reaction of the organization Vomero Obedinator, Vomero United, in August 1929, in a resolution, among other things, asked for the following. The Bucharest Treaty in 1913 and the violent agreements of Paris 1919 torn Macedonia in three parts. Uh, that uh, totally uh, destroyed the economic life of the country. Before the win, Macedonia uh, represented one geographic and economic environment. It represented a national entirety because the entire uh, community, even though composed of various nationalities, was felt and felt it, uh, 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 felt as one single Macedonian political cultural entirety." End of quote. Organizations in the Macedonian National Liberation and Revolutionary Movement until the mid-30s of the 20th century in its letters, declarations, resolutions, manifests, um, uh, and other uh, documents continuously mentioned the Bucharest Treaty uh, Agreement as um, a turning point when it comes to the historic injustice of great forces over Macedonia. Almost all Macedonian organizations, almost without any exception, ask for the revision of the provisions of the Bucharest Treaty and annihilation of the division of Macedonia. 10th of August 1913 is a date which is written in with black letters in the program documents of all Macedonian organizations, left or right, legal or illegal. Um, the Bucharest Treaty was the re main reason uh, which Macedonian revolutionaries identified as uh, uh, as a reason, for, uh, the cause for the improper resolution of the Macedonian uh, question. Uh, to the effect that they uh, differed in their ideological orientation, the Macedonian revolutionaries 
uh, and activists agreed on two things, the revision of the Bucharest B uh, Treaty uh, Peace Agreement and, uh, uh, and constitu co the constitu uh, constituting or establishing Macedonia as an autonomous and independent state within its ethnographic borders. So, um, but also uh, the fight for prestige, the internal lack of unity, the lack of coordination in activities before the international factors, as well as the fatal Macedonian uh, liquidations, actually assassinations, were the chief reasons why the Macedonian revolutionaries and activists did not direct uh, uh, its actions, full actions, with full force towards the injustice provisions of the Bucharest. Peace Treaty. Instead of directing its energy towards the uh, towards um, attracting allies and friends in order to resolve the Macedonian question, the Macedonian revolutionaries spent a huge amount of time on it, on uh, fighting between one another, uh, disputing, discussing which organization or person should be um, uh, should govern the Macedonian fight until the final aim of setting up a final Macedonian state. So the Bucharest Peace Treaty was and is one of the most tragic moments in the history of Macedonia. Uh, actually denotes a huge historic injustice with severe and unforeseeable consequences that will be felt in the years to come.